Hello everyone, this is CMA Parvati. In this video, we are going to see about CMA Final Paper 17 Cost and Management Audit. Uh, what is the syllabus and about paper pattern and a little bit analysis about how your preparation should be and what should be a preparation strategy when you are preparing for group 4 and mainly cost and management audit. Firstly, let me tell you something. In entire CMA Final, this paper which is cost and management audit is very easy and a scoring paper i can assure you that uh, if you want you can go and ask your friends who are preparing for group four or just go to any random student who is preparing for cma final group four and ask them one question that what will be uh, the easiest subject in the entire cma final and without a uh, second thought instantly they'll reply you that cost and management audit will be the easy subject so that will be my uh, uh, thing to say you that cost and management audit is the very very easy subject and most importantly this is also a scoring subject with many with putting uh, very minimal efforts and just learning the concepts understanding it very perfectly we can easily score 60 plus marks in this paper uh, which will also help us in gaining the aggregate score uh, and making us clear our group 4 with single attempt. So let us start our video with our syllabus. So this is the analysis which I have prepared for you. In this analysis, which means in this table, you can see that in this column, I have given the chapter names or the actual syllabus which we have in this cost and management audit and here it is the weightage which is given given as per icmai for this chapters and this is the weightage as per past year question papers for this analysis i have taken three years question papers uh, to be more precisely the three attempts question paper uh, which is being uh, which has been released for new syllabus students which is june 23 december 23 and june 24 attempt now let us start with our syllabus in our syllabus we have section a cost audit section b management audit section c internal audit and internal control and section d forensic audit that anti-money laundering this is the actual sections or the chapters which we have in our syllabus in section A cost audit, we have eight units. One basics of cost audit, two companies cost records and audit rules 2014, cost auditor, overview of cost accounting standards and GASAP, which is generally accepted cost accounting principles, CAAS, which is cost auditing and assurance standards, cost audit program, cost audit documentation and audit process, and preparation and filing of cost audit report. These are the eight units which we have under section A cost audit. The actual weightage which is given by ICMAI is 50 marks. But when we analyze past year question papers, in June 23, 66 marks have been asked from section A alone. And in December 23, around 65 marks questions has been asked. And uh, in June 24 attempt, around 63 marks has been asked from section a so with this we can say that this section a weightage is not just up to 50 marks but actually 60 plus marks see we are aiming for 60 plus marks and with just perfecting with section a cost audit we can easily score 60 plus marks in our paper 17 which is just like crazy isn't it see perfecting with section a we can easily score 60 plus marks. Now coming to section B management audit in which we have five units. One basics of management audit, two management reporting issues and analysis, three management audit in different functions, four evaluation of corporate image and five information system and security audit. These are the units which we have in section B which is management audit and the weightage which is given by ICMAI is 25 marks. Whereas comparing with past three 
atoms in june 23 46 marks has been asked from section b and in december 23 around 18 marks has been asked and in june 24 around 31 marks has been asked from section b so with this we can clearly say that 25 marks is not the actual weightage of this uh, section b but in some papers below 25 marks has also been asked and in some papers above 25 marks has also be asked so with this we can conclude that around 25 to 30 marks are the minimum uh, weightage for section b management audit okay coming to section c we have internal audit internal control operational audit audit of different service organizations the weightage of section c as per icmai is 15 marks whereas comparing with the past three attempts in June 23, it has been asked for 10 marks and in December 23, 20 marks and in June 24, it is 17 marks. So, with this, we can conclude the weightage of this chapter is around 15 to 20 marks. Section D, we have forensic audit and anti-money laundering. The weightage for this section D will be 10 marks. In June 23, it has been asked for 10 marks. In December 23, it has been asked for 14 marks. And in June 24, it has been asked for 16 marks. Which concludes that the weightage will be 10 to 15 marks for Section D. So, this is the actual segregation of uh, marks as per past question papers and as per ICMAI. I have further uh, in detail in this table have given uh, from which which units we are getting how many marks but uh, I'm not going to tell you in detail in this video as this is just an analysis video so uh, understanding uh, till this is more than sufficient for you to uh, prepare a strategy for your preparation and all so in December 23 and June 23 and June 24 the actual paper was given for 128 marks, 132 marks and 127 marks. So the total paper which we are getting is not just for 100 marks but actually between 125 marks to 130 marks. This is the actual uh, paper uh, for how many marks we are getting. Okay. So with this analysis, we can clearly say that section A consists of most weightage in our question paper which is around 16 marks and coming to section B it is around 25 to 30 marks coming to section C it is around 10 to 15 marks and coming to section D it is also for 10 to 15 marks so the most time which we have to invest in cost and management audit will be for section A this analysis which I have prepared in this I have included all the MCQs and practical questions and theory questions combinedly this is the actual weightage for section a okay see so we have to start our preparation or the first uh, chapter in our strategy for preparing cost and management audit should be from section a and from section b it should be the second step or the second chapter which we have to take in cost and management audit section b and further you can just shift on to section c or section d alternatively uh, as per your choice but section a and section b should be your first priority while preparing for cost and management audit as these two chapters have most weightage in our paper uh, by seeing this most of you can think that as section a consists of 60 plus marks why won't uh, we just learn and prepare for section A perfectly and just skip section B, section C and section D so that our preparation time and our efforts for this can be reduced. Uh, that can be strategy of some students. But let me tell you something. What if in uh, any of the attempt, the ICMEI didn't follow this strategy and just came back to this strategy which they have given in our books which is only just for 15 marks what if they have asked only for 50 marks does that will help us to score 60 plus marks only by preparing section a no in that case and in such circumstances 
the section B and section C and section D will be our savior chapters. So, students who are preparing for this professional course or uh, just uh, will talk about cost and management audit, I'll tell you that option learning or choice learning should never be in your mind. Always keep in your mind that you have to learn each and every chapter, each and every unit, but this analysis will help you to pick which chapter to go first, what should be your strategy, on which chapter you have to put your more efforts into it and you have to know that how many weight, how many marks or how much weightage uh, from each and every chapter we are getting. So this is the actual syllabus of our uh, paper and this is the actual weightage from which we are getting. So this will be our strategy which I have uh, just told you and now we are going into the paper pattern. What is the actual paper pattern that we have? All of you know that paper will be for 100 marks. Section A will be MCQs for 30 marks in which we'll get 15 MCQs and each question will carry 2 marks each. Coming to section B, we'll have question 2 to question 8 which will be given for 98 marks and we'll have choice of two questions which are of 28 marks we have to attempt only five questions from this question 2 to question 8 so the entire paper which we are getting is for 128 marks don't you think that with this 128 marks getting 60 plus marks is easier and i'm not talking about other subjects but when it is Coming to this subject, which is cost and management audit, from this 128 marks, getting 60 plus marks is way, way, way easier. So, uh, we'll have two question choices and we have to write five questions. In each and every question, we'll have two subparts, part A and part B. Each question will carry 14 marks, which means seven marks and seven marks each. We'll have maximum four practical questions, each carrying seven marks each and remaining all questions will be descriptive questions or theory questions. This will be our paper pattern for cost and management audit. Coming to the analysis which I have made for you. This we have already seen uh, before in the previous table, but let me explain you again clearly. Section A, we have cost audit. We get around 14 to 16 marks MCQs from just section A. See, 60 plus marks are from section A. And firstly, many of the students will attempt MCQs only. But just opening the paper, you will get to know that around 16 marks are getting from just one chapter. And if you are prepared well enough with this chapter, you can with just 15 minutes or just 15. 10 minutes you can just secure 16 marks into your account so this will be a great step for you to just go for section a perfectly in detail okay we get around 14 to 16 marks mcqs and minimum two to three practical questions and those practical questions are mostly asked from unit two this analysis is based on the past three attempts question paper which has been released for new syllabus students. So minimum two to three practical questions have been asked. Uh, practical, when it comes to practical questions, we have practical questions in section A and section B only. When it comes to section B and sec section C and section D, it is entirely, completely descriptive and theory only. So uh, we'll get minimum two to three practical questions and four theory questions. When it comes to section B management audit, MCQs are asked for four marks with one practical question and two theory questions in it. And when it comes to section C internal audit and control, four to six marks MCQs and one to two theory questions. When it comes to section D forensic audit and money laundering, four marks MCQs and two theory questions. This is the actual analysis and how your paper is segregated between the section A, B, C and D. When we look into the June 24 attempt paper, we can see that 
from MCQs, 10 marks practical question has been asked in MCQs. From section B, a 10 marks MC, uh, practical question has been asked as MCQ, which means 5 questions have been given into 2 each, which is 10 marks. This is a practical question, single practical question. It has been given for 10 marks. So, when preparing for MCQs, you have to be sure that you prepare for all simple and short uh, practical questions which we have in our uh, material so that it will help for our MCQs too. So, this is our syllabus, paper pattern and the analysis. Now, uh, it is time for an announcement. Uh, as concerned with paper 17 cost and management audit for CMA final students, I'll be a faculty. And if you students want to enroll for uh, this subject, cost and management audit, you can buy our classes, which are going to start from September 1, SAHAS 2.0. Our classes are going to start from September 1 and the batch name is SAHAS 2.0 and I'll be a faculty for cost and management audit and coming to the books yes hard copies of materials will be provided and each and every concept chapter will be explained in detail with lots of uh, clarity and just with this as on the basis of this analysis only we are going to uh, go in our classes too and yes that's the all information uh if you want any detailed information about sahas 2.0 batch there is also already a video uh which has been uh released in our uh, channel so you can go into the videos and check it out about sahas 2.0 batch and uh, get more de details about it so till now that's it thank you so much uh, we'll meet in our classes. Till then, happy studying. Bye-bye.